Uh, I wanted to talk, though, about just to go a bit further with Eric Ten Hag. Are you OK with the fact that he does state why this happens to the media, that it isn't all kept in house all the time? Because we have known whenever there's been a situation, the coach has been very vocal about what the story behind it is and the story behind his decision. Is that OK for you? Yes, I think to a degree. As I said, this was trivial. So, uh, I mean, we didn't see uh, Marcus Rashford moping. Uh, the probably, probably conversation uh, uh, when, like many that I've heard, kind of saying, look, this is going to leak out. I may even say it. Uh, this is important for a club. I think people out there need to know that this is different Manchester United, that none of this stuff is going to get, get swept under the carpet. I have no problem with it. Things like these happen because he was probably laughing to himself, Eric Ten Hag. You know, you like sometimes. All players are. And that's why I think it's trivial. Could have started him and nobody would have said anything. But I, I think there's also a message sent to everybody around that Manchester United are on the way back. Well, it might be that they are on the way back because there are reports that Frankie de Jong has actually had a bit of a U-turn in terms of where he wants to go next and actually would like to go to Manchester United. If that is true, can you see why? Uh, yeah, yeah, he he's test he was testing that. He was like, L let me see if this Manchester United is for real. Let me see if Eric Ten Hag can uh, turn this around. So before the season, we didn't know any of that, right? I mean, in fact, uh, the, the start of the season wasn't great for Manchester United. So at that stage, you know, if you had Barcelona and they still owe you tons of money, why would you go from... Uh, from not a great situation to maybe potentially a worse situation because that's where Manchester United were. Now that he sees the turnaround, uh, he probably says, you know what, this, uh, you know, I want to be part of that. I want to be a part of that process of building Manchester United uh, back to their glory days. So, so yeah, I can see that. Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.